home from his historic conference with Premier Stalin and Prime Minister Churchill at Tehran, President Roosevelt reviews American troops of the Persian Gulf Command. Here on the slopes above Tehran, 6,000 miles from America, the President salutes the fighting men who guard this vital supply line to Russia. Still riding in the Army's famous Jeep, the President appears before the assembled garrison. He tells the men of the aims of the conference, how the three great powers plan both for the winning of the war and of the peace to follow. He tells them that individually and collectively, they are a part of that purpose. To men protecting far-flung outposts, the presence of their Commander-in-Chief is an inspiring link with home. The port of Naples, blasted by the Nazis, is now in full operation for the United Nations. Vast war supplies from Britain and America are unloaded as the Fifth Army gathers momentum for the offensive. Former luxury liner Queen Mary steams into Sydney Harbor loaded with troops. Once the most palatial ship afloat, the Queen Mary has a thrilling war record. Whenever huge reinforcements are needed, the Queen Mary does the job. Faster than enemy submarines or surface raiders, the gallant vessel continues to play an important role in the war. Tide season in America finds college girls spending their spare time making dolls for little ones. Now that manufacturers have converted their plants to war, the doll making industry is strictly homemade. When St. Nicholas comes down the chimney, Youngsters will find dolls waiting at the fireside. This year, the dolls of young America salute the United Nations. Scourge of the submarine, fast, deadly torpedo boats. These were just completed in American shipyards and are being tested by British crews who will take them overseas. Equipped to blast anything afloat, these super speedboats are one of the deadliest weapons of the Allied navies. pictures of the Battle of Tarawa in the Gilbert Islands. This phase of the battle, filmed under fire by United States Marine Corps cameramen, reveals something of the terrific fighting that took place in capturing this important base in the Pacific. Japanese positions scorched by flamethrowers. Machine gun nests wiped out by hand grenades. American Marines, veterans of Guadalcanal, 
destroying a force of more than 4,000 Japanese. American losses were heavy. A battered helmet that saved a life. Prisoners were taken. Japanese are exterminated. A lone kitten survives the carnage. Army units replace the Marines. A colonel stands by the roadside, proud of his men and their indomitable courage. Tarawa, costly, dramatic symbol of the United Nations growing power in the Pacific.